What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Be A Pro Goalie Career. Uh, just before we dive into the first game here, I just want to quickly come to the settings and show you guys that it is time. We are bumping up the difficulty from pro to all-star. Uh, and I know you guys might be thinking, why the heck, especially if you watched the end of last video, are you changing the difficulty after giving up seven goals in Dallas? I do have my reasons. First of all, um, I didn't even want to play on pro in every NHL game that I've ever played. I always play on the lowest is all-star. I typically play on superstar. Um, and the only reason for that is I haven't played an NHL game in like five years, goalie even longer than that. And for this year's game, they changed pretty much all of the goalie controls. So I didn't want to play on a harder difficulty and get absolutely bodied while trying to learn the new systems, things like that. So we started on pro with the intention that we'd eventually change to all-star. Now that I'm comfortable with the controls, uh, I feel like it's the right time. Now that's not to say I won't get scored on or we won't lose games. It just means that, um, Hopefully, the AI will be a little bit smarter. Maybe less penalties uh, would be nice. Now, I've looked at the stats, and it seems like the LA Kings are leading the penalties against by 33, I think is what I saw. So we do have some cleaning up to do in the discipline department, but I'm hoping with All-Star, uh, you know, smarter plays, faster plays, better breakout passes, more more offense. I know we're not that much of an offensive team, but you never know. And yes, I'm aware that it means the other team will also be better, but I'm fine with that. As long as I know that I can at least control my goalie, then I'm all for being under pressure more, more shots, better save percentages, things like that. So hopefully that improves the experience just a little bit. Um, and the second thing I just want to quickly show you guys was I actually earlier today was in the process of recording a video for the start against the Rangers. If you remember, our last start was against Dallas. We didn't play the Nashville game. We got the start for the Rangers and I was about second period in and my landlord called and said she was here to change the air filters. It's my own fault. I forgot she was coming. I couldn't tell her no. So I had to simulate the rest of the game. We did get the win. It was 2-2 when I ended in the second period. Ended up being a 5-4 win. Kind of sucks we let in a bunch of goals. But at the end of the day, it's only one game. It happens. It's my own fault. I forgot she was coming over. Um, and yeah, so we, we got another win. Then we simulated against the Sharks because we didn't get that start. And now we're back in uh, L.A., playing a, a really tough opponent. They're not having the greatest season, but we know they're up and coming in the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, so we're going to get into that game now. You better believe that I'm using my alternate jersey because we're using this beautiful thing. I wish the Buffalo Sabres would go back to this one. It is absolutely beautiful. There's too much blue in the league. Let's go back to this beautiful jersey. Without further delay, we're going to head out to the LA rink, get things kicked off. We got to keep an eye on Tage Thompson, Rasmus Dallin, even Jeff Skinner and uh, Alex Tuck. They're both pretty dangerous players. Let's see if we can continue this nice play in 2024. Uh, we're boasting like a 7-2-1 last 10 games. We're only like six points away with games in hand in our division. So lots to play for. We're seemingly going back to the playing every other game. We've won some games. The coach has trusted us. Let's build on that. And we know this. We got to stay out of the box. I'm hoping changing it to all-star will help with some stupid, unnecessary penalties that we take. Our biggest hurdle is playing a full 60 minutes. We always get off to a pretty hot start. And then the second and third period is just a, a gong show for LA. So hopefully we can change things here. I love this Buffalo jersey. I have no idea why they... Like, don't get me wrong. The blue and yellow one, their new blue and yellow one is really nice. I do like the design. But, like, nothing beats this jersey in my mind. It's just so good. Nice save there off the point. Uh, I got to thank you guys once again for all the love and support. You guys have been crushing it. It's, uh, I guess, it's Sunday afternoon now. I was recording in the morning, but it's the afternoon now. And uh, at the time, we're like 25 subscribers away from 600. I can't believe we're already at that number. Granted, we started this channel earlier this year. You guys love these videos. I'm enjoying making them. Make sure you smash that button. It's hard to believe, but there is about like 90% of you guys that aren't sub to the channel watching the videos. It's free. Click it. Turn on the bell. It helps, like, I'm not a numbers man, but it does help me uh, determine what videos you guys are enjoying watching because I have so much content planned that I don't want to post something and have you guys hate it. So if you guys are enjoying it, which you guys are, these videos are popping off. Just, let's continue to grow the channel together. What the? That should have been icing, no? Anyway, Daddy carries it out. Also, leave comments. I've been reading all your comments. It's been great to interact with you guys. Uh, I'll actually answer one of the questions that have kind of popped up a number of times. 
me just make sure we don't get into some trouble while I'm not concentrating here. A nice point shot blocked again, now carried out by Dubois. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've noticed that a lot of people are, are you know, suggesting things about different um, lengths for these videos, different ideas for these videos. Um, so I'll kind of, I'll kind of just explain why I do the videos in these one hour segments. So first and foremost, I think the most important reason that maybe not a lot of people know is I work a nine to five job. I'm not a full time content creator as much as I would love to be maybe one day down the line, who knows? But I do work a normal job. I have very limited time before work or after work to record. Um, so that's why I don't edit every one of my videos. I do edit a large number of my playthroughs uh, just to cut out chunks of gameplay that, you know, kind of are stale or boring. Um, but for sports games, I like the idea. I know you, uh, usually when I play sports games, I always say, like, I have an hour to record. How many games can I fit in that time? And while playing be a pro goalie, it seems two games is perfect. I turn on the console, play two games, record it raw material you get all my comments here beautiful play there as he passes or not pass shoots it off the low uh, pad seems to be that little ai cheese and and kopitar with a nice bank in and we get on the board here 20th goal now for Anse kopitar and that's just a beautiful play by fiala to get the rebound over to kopitar perfectly placed shot and you love to see that as the boys just seem to continue their first period dominance one nothing now halfway through this first period love it but yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. This game's too fun. Um, yeah, we usually ha I usually have an hour, upload it, bam, you guys are loving it. Now, I have seen comments about people saying, why don't you make the videos, you know, 30 minutes and only include one game? Well, I'm not against that. We can totally do that. It seems like this one hour, two games, two goalie games per seems to be the magic touch. But if the majority of you guys want 30 minute videos, it doesn't, that doesn't strain me any. Like I still have an hour recording. I'll, stop, I'll play a game, stop the recording, start it again. I get two for the price of one. They'll be shorter. Uh, for me, if I had to give my opinion, I think right now the one hour works because as a goalie, as a backup goalie, you don't play every game. You're simulating a lot of the season. I like the idea of knowing that when I sit down, I'm playing two games per video. You're going to get the same two game, like same thing every video, and it seems to be consistent. But let me know in the comments if you guys, maybe I'll start a poll. If you guys want to go to my YouTube, go to my community section as we get another power play here. I'll try and skate to the bench. Um, let me know. We'll, we'll do a poll. Uh, I think a lot of people do enjoy this format, but I know a lot of people might like the change, and I'm open to that. One thing I won't do, and it's not a bad suggestion, I'll just, one of the things people say is, well, why don't you do an even shorter video where you just do highlights from your games? I've thought about it, but as a goalie, to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense because 95% of the game is all con controlled and dominated by AI. If I'm doing highlights where goals are going in for us, it's all AI, which isn't that exciting to watch as a highlight reel. Or goals against me would just be negative things. I could do some cool highlights and cool saves. But the highlight package would be mostly AI, and I just don't think that's that enjoyable. And for goalie, you know, things happen in the game that might not be a goal, but exciting things happen, crazy plays, things like that. I like the experience of watching it. They're only five minute periods, you know, half hour games with whistles, penalties, whatever. It, I think it's more streamlined. So that's why I'm not really in favor of that. I'm not saying I'll never do it, but for a be a pro goalie playthrough, it just doesn't make the most sense. But but that's, that's why guys, uh, again, it comes down to, I'm not a full-time content creator. This is the perfect segment for me. You guys, the videos seem to be crushing it. They're getting, all of them are getting in the algorithm. They're getting thousands of views. You guys are crushing it. Keep it up. Let's keep grinding. But enough of that. That's a long conversation. I apologize. I just want to answer your questions and know that I'm reading your stuff. Let's get that back in the game. We still got a power play here. 7.30 left in the first. But if you guys have suggestions, leave a comment. I read them all. Boom! Oh, another bang bang play as Fiala tries it this time. Lukanen with a nice save. Minute left now in this first period penalty to, I believe it was Klingberg, which is weird because there's been so many weird trades and moves in this in this season. I guess the Leafs didn't want to give him a shot after all. And he's now playing on Buffalo. Was he ever on Buffalo? I feel like Klingberg made his way to Buffalo at some point. I could be completely full of crap. Obviously, he was on Dallas. Here we go. Drew Doughty going for a skate. Loses the puck. Gets it back to Arvidsson. We just got another power play? Let's go, baby. Five on three for 30 seconds. And now it's now it's these guys being undisciplined with their sticks. Let's go, baby. Five on three. Let's see if the boys 
can pot another goal here. Byfield now with a rocket. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the Kings in this game, but like I know I've talked about how they're not really offensive juggernauts. That's fine. But like our first period might be the best first period in all of the all of the NHL. <laughs> We've scored so many first first period goals. And then we just fall asleep, man. And like I could say it's oh, it's like classic Leafs, but at least the Leafs like have the last 10 minutes of effort. Not that I like that. But Man, it's like the, the Kings play one period and then they're done. I mean, it's just so painful. Tried recentering that there for Adrian Kempe. So not no goals to be found on that short five on three, but we still have a minute left of this power play. Maybe trying to get a little too cute with it now. Nice blocks by their team. Tage Thompson, the big man, the young superstar in the making. Owen Power going for a skate, and we will cover this one up on the on the power play. Short-handed opportunity there for Buffalo. Yeah, a little unfortunate we didn't get that home and home start. Obviously, the last one was back in December, so like a month ago in game. But it's my own fault. I forgot she called me. I was like, oh, so I wasn't gonna stop the recording and edit it and be like, I only played half the game now. Might as well just simulate the rest. It's fine is what it is mistakes happen got a pretty good one here not a lot on these power plays oh my god what a save by lucan and gets over to rob the who is on the short side just tries banking that chip shot in casey middlestat tries to make a move and gets absolutely pancaked kaliev now Four minutes left here in this first period. Jordan Greenway over to Rasmus Dallin, who know we know he's got a clapper on him. Man, Tate Thompson's stick has been dangerous on the on the defense. I'll tell you, that's a pretty good shot up close for uh, for Lukanen to just control like he just did. I'll be really interested to see if Buffalo can turn it around this year. We're a couple games into the season. They've looked absolutely awful. But, I mean, again, it's it's early. There's there's time for every team to kind of turn it around. But uh, I'll be interested to see if Buffalo makes the playoffs. I think Ottawa might actually – I can't believe I'm saying this. Ottawa's my brother's favorite team. Ottawa's looked good in their first couple games. I think they got a team that can do it, whether they will. I know the East is hard, especially the Atlantic. But, I mean – I don't know if Tampa's got what it takes to make it again. I, I don't know. We'll see. Vassy doesn't seem like he's going to be back anytime. I think he's injured for a while, right? So we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be an interesting year. Because if Buffalo, I mean, Detroit kind of looks like they might be all right, too. There's a lot of youngish teams that are finally, you know, you saw that with the Leafs a couple years ago. I mean, playoffs are a different story, but they've been a really good regular season team for a number of years now. And I think you're starting to see that with Buffalo and Detroit and Ottawa. I think it's going to be an exciting year. I hope so anyway. Good first period by the Kings. we got a one nothing lead. Not too many opportunities outside of, uh, of the one. But all in all, we'll definitely take a nice start like this. Do -do 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 Good face-off win. I mean, I think Kopitar might be the best face-off guy in this game. I feel like he... I don't even... I mean, I'm sure he has, but it feels like he never loses the face-off. He's so strong. Having a quietly good year. Again, it's it's really easy for me to say that, like, you know, we're not scoring nearly as much as other teams. But when you look at, again, our first 10, 12 games of the season, we were so bad. We were so bad. It took forever for somebody to get 10 goals. And I know that's like a still pretty big thing, but like it took us to like January for multiple people to get, you know, into the double digits. Now you got guys like Arvidsson, Dubois, Kopitar. Guys are scoring. Like we got people that are getting close or above 20 goals. It's great. You love to see it. Arvidsson's been kind of a superstar since coming back into the lineup, missing almost all of November. All right. For the first three minutes, I've actually seen an effort in the second period. Trying to keep the crowd engaged. It's kind of been a slow game nonetheless. 
Alex Tuck seeing if he can get anything going here for Buffalo. Throws it in front, a great stick by Kopi. Not much of an effort there. Back in front. It's kind of sloppy hockey. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the it's not the most you know people running into people. Good good sticks on the defense. Not a lot of sustained pressure from either team at the moment. Dowdy up to Adrian Kempe. Let's see if the second line can get anything going here now. Doing it himself. Passes it off back to Kaliev. Not not high octane scoring chances though. You need you're gonna need a little bit more uh, from the creativity department to try and get one past uh, Lukanen, who seems to have settled down here nicely. And that's a bad stick and another penalty. Discipline, man. It's not It's not our strong suit. <laughs> you get lazy, you get tired, you guys skating away from you and all you do is just throw your stick in between their legs. It's gonna be a penalty every single time not in just a video game if you're skating behind somebody and you reach between their legs the second they feel a tug they're going down and it's an instant penalty every single time to know who's actually been struggling on the five on five got demoted to the third line for oh my gosh i almost moved out of the way for that one has been pretty effective on the pk special teams in general he's actually gotten a handful of power play goals he's gotten a couple shorties which is it was just crazy to see. That's a monster hit, and he's got to go out because he lost his bucket. Owen Power now with a really weird shot from a really wide angle. Oh, a nice tip shot there by Olofsson. Blocked. All right, this is good, a pretty, I mean, it's a decent penalty kill. Maybe better than what we've experienced. Dylan Cousins now. Getting held up by his own three people. Owen Power now. Yeah, how does that? How is that the goal that they beat us with? You got, you got cousins skating into two of his own players. Somehow our team doesn't even pick up on that. And I mean, yeah, that's a great, pl great play and an even better pass. Skinner just bounces off whoever that was, Spence or whoever it was on defense. There does a nice little dipsy doodle, the figure skater that he once was and gets it buried as we try to stretch out and make that glove save, but it's just a perfectly placed shot. We got a 1-1 hockey game. Saw me if you've heard this, but another power play goal against. Holy jumpins. I'm actually anxious to see at the end of the year. I actually, I don't know if they'll show that stat in this game. I would love to know how many goals I've let in that are power play. I'm pretty sure it's it's got to be it's got to be most of it. <laughs> it's got to be high up there. It's that's a tough scene. It's a tough scene, but we got a power play now. I'm not quite sure I missed who got it. Two minutes now. See if we can't bounce back. We, our offense is just second period offense is just so bad. Oh no! Goes to play it. Rolls right to Dumba. Thankfully, Middlestad didn't really have much option there other than just to fire it easily into the net or onto the net, not into the net. Fiala gets the puck over to Kopitar who tries to make a play off the board, doesn't really get anything to show for it. And once again, it's the same play that gets us into trouble all the time. I am gonna play this puck though. See if the boys can't get the puck up the net and get any sort of, we're a minute in now, we don't even have a shot on net. We don't even have any off, oh man. Owen Power going for a skate, the big man. This is, this is tough to watch at the moment. This is supposed to be all-star? Did I change it down to rookie? Did I? It is just a narrative that has plagued the Kings for so many games this year. It's just unable to find anything. Tried going short side. Trying to find any offense past the first period. It's just been a struggle bus. Been an absolute struggle bus. All right, well, we're kind of flying through this game. We already got 10 minutes left in the second. 20 saves now for Lukanen. So, I mean, we're getting we're getting shots. They're just not great. They're kind of just throwing the puck on that just to get a shot. Which I guess sometimes isn't bad, but, I mean, he seems to have been settled down since that first goal. 
great job by this PK unit, James, creating some momentum All right, well, for their team. And getting... Can't capitalize on that one. I think that's our second power play. And as a rookie goaltender, that's just, that's way, I'm way too slow to get back. Way too slow. I go down to the butterfly, make the first save. Rebound control is horrible. Bounces right out front. Our, that is pure Luke Dubois and Victor Arvidsson. That is pure Luke Dubois and Victor Arvidsson as their defenders there. Look at this. This is Drew Doughty once again for the 400th time I've seen. Getting absolutely just out of position for no reason. Where the hell is our... Wait, is this still our power play unit out? They didn't make a change? Oh, well, that's why we're getting beat. I mean, three on one here. And I start, I kick across and I just, I can't get over, man. Well, that makes sense. I didn't know that our team didn't change lines after a power play. Oh, it hurts so bad. Hey, that's a good goal. Like I said, there's no point. Another comment I've seen is people saying, you know, how... How do you remain so calm in a game where so many people, so many other content creators just bitch and complain about it? And look, I mean, I'm not taking anything away from what they're saying because this game is not perfect. There's a lot of things that do piss me off as well. Um, I can understand the frustration of the be a pro career mode because they haven't touched it apparently in four years. But for me, it's new because I haven't played in so long. But I think goalie is a little bit different. I, I think... You know, as a fan of the game, as a fan of hockey, if I'm getting beat by really good plays, it's hard to be mad. Yeah, I'm not cheering that the puck went in. I don't like getting scored on. But to get mad at the game for a good play, it's like I we our team sucks and we got beat by a really good play. You should be like, that's that was a really good play. It's the it's the it's the the ones that annoy me, and that maybe I just don't show it as much as other people, are the what I call the AI cheese which has been in the game since I started playing goalie back in like 2012. They have never found a way to, to allow human goalies to have a chance of, of defending against it is when somebody takes a shot and it bounces off your defender or somebody in front of the net and instead of going anywhere else, it falls in front of the net. Block shot there by Gavrikov, blows the stick apart. Nice hand pass there to get it up. Instead of falling anywhere, it falls in front of the net. And unfortunately, they haven't found a way for a human goalie to smother it or jump out at it or make an attempt with a stick, a good poke check, to get it out. And it goes in every single time. It, it just falls flat, and all they do is they don't even shoot. They just get it on their sk stick, skate at the goalie, make contact with the goalie, and it trickles through the five hole. I've pointed it out. You can go watch all the videos in this series. I'll point it out again if it happens. I call it the AI cheese. And it's, you can't be too mad about it because it's existed for so long. It's existed in this game. It's not an NHL 24 thing. That annoys me just because of how frequently it happens and how little a human goalie can do about it. I don't know what the solution to fixing it is. I just wish they found a way to fix it. Um, that annoys me. I, I won't lie. I mean, there's things that annoy me in, in this game. <laughs> but I don't know. When you get scored on as a goalie and it's a really good play, the only thing you can do is be like, God damn, that was a good play. Woo! Nice little passing play over to Gavrikov. Or, sorry, Kaliev, who makes a play. I'm getting all my players mixed up now. Yeah, I don't know. Gavrikov and... There, there's either an injury on the blue line or this Gavrikov, whatever his name is, Spence, or whoever it is. They must have got bumped up because they're on the ice so much. And I never see them play. Clark, Clark, Clark and Gavrikov. My gosh, they're on the ice way too much. There's got to be, who would be injured? Is it Mikey Anderson? Oh, dude, I haven't seen Anderson in this game. I wonder if Anderson's injured. Oh, that would be so bad. All right, well, it's, hey, it's a, it's an unfortunate bounce that I had really no way of, of handling. 2-1 hockey game. Once again, the Kings have fallen completely flat in the second period, even on that all-star difficulty. Oh, no, Anderson's out. So who's injured? It's Doughty and Anderson. I guess they maybe just switched up the second pairing. I don't, I don't know. I never see those guys that much. Arvidsson now. Where's the puck? Oh my god! 
Oh my gosh. What is happening? Yes. Way to stay with the puck. Oh my gosh, what a sequence. Give credit to Lukanen who made some unbelievable desperation attempts. And thankfully, Kevin Fiala gets that puck into a scoring position and he blasts that one in the back of the net. Good play by Arvidsson to get the puck back, get it to Fiala's stick. And thankfully, after an abysmal second period, we are back making plays. We get a quick one here, a very quick one here to tie the game at two with lots of time left on the clock. Let's go, baby. That's what we needed. And now we got a hockey game. Gosh, it was kind of boring there for a while. Deep in the net, we make a save on Darlene, who we know has a cannon, kind of just decides to wrist shot that one in. Oh, here we go. I don't know if I like that play by Kopitar. He was kind of in alone. Makes the pass. Skinner is jumping here. Read that one like a book and was able to get across this time. Holy jumpings. Holy macaroni. So yeah, we got what? It is halfway through October now. So we got two and a half months basically before January. I don't know if it's even remotely close to being possible, but if I had to pick a number, which again, I don't care about numbers as long as people are having fun on my channel, maybe a thousand by the end of the year. If you guys are watching and you haven't clicked that subscribe, smash it. And let's, let's try and get a thousand by the end of the year. We got so many fun playthroughs. Spider-Man at the end of this week, which I, I mean, I bought the whole Spider-Man bundle literally just to play that game. Um, ooh, nice play. If, if, Arvidsson was a lefty there. That might have a chance. Uh, we got Alan Wake 2, which is a horror game. I love the first one. It's going to scare the crap out of me. So if you guys want to watch a, a, a fully grown man scream like a little baby, watch that playthrough. So many fun games coming out, guys. It's going to be an exciting time. And then this playthrough. I mean, I played 60 parts of the golf one before that game got stale. Playing goalie in this, I can see us getting somewhere close to that or higher. <laughs> I mean, what? I'm already on episode 10 and it's been a week. I've recorded so many videos for this game. I just love it. It's fun. Here we go. Yes. The boys are alive now. Dubois. Let's go, baby. I thought he was going to miss that. 19th goal of the season. One away from 20 mark. And I mean, that one's a little bit on Lucan. And no idea why that pass from Kempe. Had him baiting so hard, unless he thought Dubois was just going to try and backhand that in. And right now, we're, we're getting a little bit of a Dominic Hashik performance out of Lukanen, who is just frozen in time with his legs in the air. <laughs> oh, man. 12 minutes left, and all of a sudden, LA, out of nowhere, takes a 3-2 lead, and we have life in our bodies after all. We have life back in the Kings. As we're making smart plays, like, I'm loving all these passes. As long as we don't get too, too cute with it. Kempe almost almost passed the defenders there. And just like us in the second, we have stymied these Sabres in this third period so far. Ten minutes left. Dylan Cousins up to Victor Olofsson. We make a beautiful save as he tries to come out front. And he, is that Hughes? Hughes? Or Hughes, not Hughes. Quinn. Jack Quinn. Hughes is on... Both the Hughes brothers, two of the Hughes brothers are on Jersey. Comes back out front. We make the save and just nobody's able to get a stick on him. And the first good scoring chance that Buffalo has in a very long time. They capitalize on a goal by Jack Quinn. Oh man, tough, tough. That's another good play. I mean, he just... Got the rebound. We got we got the, the save on the post there. Was able to get the stop. Rebound goes right to him. And instead of just throwing it back on us, he, he tucks it around us. That's a good goal. And now we got trouble here by Alex Tuck, who's streaming down the ice. Oh, my gosh. What a save. Poke check into a pad save. All right. I don't like this Clark line. Why are they getting so much ice time? I don't like it. I do not like it. They're getting beat on almost every single play. There's another poke check attempt. Skinner walks around him. Back in front to John Klingberg. Oh my gosh.
with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. Oh, no. How in God's green earth did that puck just end up in the back of the earth? Back of the earth. I can't even speak now. Green earth, back of the earth. Okay, so Kopitar has pressure on him. He makes the shot. We're we're well in position to make this save. Like, we got bodies in our crease, but we're in good enough position. Come out to challenge the puck. Oh, no! I'm telling you guys, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no freaking luck at all. Tell me this isn't the most lucky. Going wide, by the way. Two guys in our net. Gavrikov has been the most useless plug. Hits off his hand. It's going wide, hits off his fingertip, off my elbow, and into the net. And that is that is the go-ahead goal late in this game. You're telling me this is this is the potential game-winning goal by John Klingberg. Like Oh God! Oh my God! I'm t I I I've seen the comments, guys. I I hate to say I'm unlucky and these are bullshit goals, but like I'm telling you, I I'm no joke. I think I might be the most unlucky goaltender in all of NHL 24 so far. That goes off. Okay, enough. We gotta focus up. Would not break the glass again, EA. I'm gonna call you out every time until you fix that stupid implementation of a cool feature. <laughs> it's so painful, man. I just, I wanna be scored on with a good play, not with some BS. Come on, we got time here, boys. Let's keep the pedal down. Six minutes left. Oh, that is back to back unlucky goals, man. Is there a stat that I can put in that ups my luck factor? Is that a thing? All right, I like this. Kempe gets the puck back after a hard battle. Here we go. Here we go. Walks in front. Luke and out. <laughs> we got a game here, ladies and gentlemen. This is, I'm telling you, this is something unlocked in Luke and brain that said you got to play like Dominic Hasek out there. My God, what am I watching? Good composure there by all the guys. Kempe smart in front, gets a play to get Lucan and sprawling. Dubois throws it in front and just a perfect shot. Nothing fancy. Didn't risk throwing it over the net. And we are back to a tied hockey game, 4-4. And you are seeing a gong show of a display here by both teams. I have no idea what I'm witnessing. 4-4, 4-41 left in the period. <laughs> Cali have now up to 14 goals on the season. We are getting some secondary scoring. Jeez Louise, this is just... This is... <laughs> Adrian Kempe! All right. I mean, hey, I thought that would have been the game winner goal. I'm glad it's not. Now it's back to an all square. Next goal wins type of territory. That ain't going in. Get that garbage out of here. Man, Buffalo's liking the uh, cross crease or throw in front for a one timer type BS. It's like I'm playing on NHL, like online show. Here we go. Ocposo in now. Thought he was going to make the pass. I'm glad I didn't bite on that. Is this going to be my first overtime if we make it there? One minute left. Oh. Oh, nice play by Doughty to try and tuck it back in. He is stuck below the net, though. He's got to get back. I hate this game. I, you're gonna hear me. You're gonna hear me complain now. You're gonna hear me complain now. And that's not not about that goal. About my goalie. Why am I flying past the? Go I'm holding. I'm holding left on the thumbstick, which is the only way in this stupid video game to hug the post. I'm a little frustrated. Not much. It is the only way that they have given me human control to hug the post. I wish they gave me back the bumpers. EA, somehow, if you see this, bring back bumper hold 
for the post because I'm holding left, which is the only way to hug the post, and somehow I'm sliding out of the world past the post. Oh, oh God. I had, I had no control of that. I couldn't do anything different. I can't believe the outcome of this video game. Oh, no. I mean, I can't blame the team on that one. <laughs> what a good, like, possible ending ruined by two back-to-back -back garbage goals. Oh, uh, well. This is the life of the goalie, I guess. You're going to have bad games. You're going to have good games. That's a that's a dumpster fire of an ending. Let's open up the phone lines as well. We go to High River and check in with... John that that Tawari. okay so that that's a different level of frustration this is what i i again i'm used to the goalie controls i'm not saying i'm a fan of all of them i like some of the changes you gotta understand when i say having manual control over when i can hug the post and not automate it based on which way i'm holding the thumbstick is a big difference i get all this automation stuff is good for for new goalies i do i understand why it's implemented there should be an option for me as a human goaltender to manually hug the post. I make a save and I'm moving right with the thumbstick. The only way to do that, to get in position of a rebound. And my guy slides past the post behind the net for the easiest goal of that guy's life. <laughs> All right, it is what it is. We have to move on. We are still getting the every other game starts. So, I mean, the coach can't be too upset with us right now. We will hop over into St. Louis at the Enterprise Center. And let's see if we can bounce back. I apologize for that one, guys. Uh, you can't blame. I mean, some of the goals you can blame the team on. They got their offense working in the third period. I wasn't able to hold down the fort. Two back-to-back -back really unlucky goals. And now we got to find a way to get back in the win column. And we got an early power play here. A slash, an unnecessary slash onto the hands of, I believe that was Fiala. And it's Jordan Cairo, I think. Gets a slashing call. Let's see if we can get off early. Here. Man. I, I, I suck. End of the day, I suck, guys. Nobody else to blame but myself. Nice. Nice jump there. I don't know if I like it. Howden tries to slap her. Kopitar gets back, bailing out Doughty. A new game, new ice. Let's focus up. You gotta have a small memory as a goalie. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, boy. I can only imagine what real goaltenders feel. It's like, you have a game, your team gets back in, you're a minute away, less than a minute away from overtime. Get a, a point that is very crucial in our standings. And instead, you let in a goal like that. And all you can think about is how you just let the team down. Small memory, short-term memory. And uh, let's see if the boys can battle back. Hey, they got something I haven't seen in a while is they got some late third-period goals. That's something that kind of bites us in the behind. It's a good defense here from uh, St. Louis. We got 40 seconds left now in this penalty, and we really... Have we even had a shot in-game yet? Fiala with a nice play over to Kempe. Back to Fiala. And a better save there. Is that Bennington in that? Good save there. We finally got a, a late chance. Another one back to, from Kopitar to Fiala. I feel like I'm saying Fiala's name a lot lately. He's been all over the ice, and I kind of I kind of liking it. Dude, what is happening right now? Holy jumpings. We got some late, late after the penalty. And James Balski's voice, you can't even understand him. He's at a frequency that only dogs can understand. <laughs> Frick. Hope it's our now. I've played uh, in previous goal, in previous via pros, I've played a St. Louis, and we've had a really good run. Nice first touch of the puck there. Good shot by Hayes. And there's the typical showing the hits after every hit leaderboard in the NHL. 
Graphic looks great. Show me some other stats, please. Have lost their last two games, so that might be why we got this start. It seems like Copley's also been struggling, which is, it's weird. We've been winning, but struggling. <laughs> We've let in a lot of goals, which needs to stop, for, especially for us. Needs to stop now. But Copley's doing the same. I mean, we're getting 5-4 wins. We're losing big, winning big. It's weird. It's been a weird start to the year. We've climbed. We've gotten points. And I think as a team, that's the only thing we really should be caring about. Individual stats are, are fine and dandy. But as a team right now, Bennington is just looking lights out here early. Oh, my gosh. Gets the good save there. This looks like a, a Bennington that doesn't have anger issues. Bertuzzo with a shot short side on the glove. Yeah, Coach is playing uh, some very interesting lineups because Deneau got dropped down to the third line on the 5-on-5, five five, which, again, is is interesting. It might work out. He has been so good on the power play and the penalty kill. But if it helps him get his 5-on-5 five five, or at least get some more third line minutes out on the ice, then, hey, it's very rare that you see three lines in a be a pro. Byfield on the ice late here. Arvidsson now hopped up. I mean... You gotta get you gotta tip your hat to, to Bennington here early in this game. He has been pretty lights out on some pretty strong scoring chances. This could very easily be like a three-nothing hockey game. As now St. Louis looking to put some pressure on. Got eight minutes and forty seconds left. Pretty fast-paced game, not a lot of whistles so far. I, I'm still I, I know I should I said and we need to short term, but I'm still thinking about that last couple goals Gosh, I'm out for I'm out for vengeance here Here we go Gavrikov getting more ice time here Oh, I should have figured out who was injured or what the line changes were because we've who, who's this guy? I've never seen him play a game in this game so far never Connington Con who the hell is that our D line must be banged up I've ne I'm pretty sure in the games I've played, this is the first time I've ever seen that name on ice. I don't even know who that is. Again, apologies if you guys are real life LA K Kings fans and I'm just shitting all over your players. All right, it's nothing against them. It's just in a be a pro, they very rarely play. Arvidsson been out on this line for a while now. Not sure it's weird. The line changes have been weird in the last couple games. I'm hoping that we don't have injuries because we were healthy in all of December and we were just buttery smooth with our line changes, with our combinations, power play. Three minutes left now in this first period. We are flying. Kempe over to Kaliev. So this line's remained intact, at least for the last like two or three games. I think the first line is the same. Fiala, Kopitar, and Arvidsson. I mean, Rob Thomas just on the doorstep. Nobody, no, no defense to be found to challenge him. And there's the first goal of the game late. 13th for Rob. Robert. Not the lead singer of Matchbox 20. I know, this is itchy. Yeah. Just all alone. Nobody. Gavrikov, I swear to God, this guy needs to get, not be getting so many minutes. They got some scores on their team this year. Very similar to our leaderboard. Tori Krug, Colin Pareko getting the assists. We had a one nothing hockey game. Not what you like to see late in the first period, but I mean, all alone out front. Not a ton I can do on that one. I, again, and just when you get goals like that against, that just comes down to being in position but not being a good enough goalie. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but like... If we had more skills and more points into, you know, low glove save, blocker save, five hole. When you're in tight like that and you're make, trying to make... That goes off my head. It's tough to make a save when you're in position and you're just getting absolutely beat by a good goal score. Rob Thomas, I got him in my fantasy. I hope he has a good year. You never know. All right, well, K 
can the LA Kings do the impossible and actually have a good second period? We really didn't change. We had a great third period. I let the team down last game. one nothing hockey game. Kind of low scoring. Some decent chances from both teams. Nothing like overly, oh my god. We've had some great saves by uh, by Bennington on the other side of the ice. And here, here I am with my 40 overall speed. Victor Arvidsson doesn't need the power play. He will say thank you as I slowly, sluggishly take my skates and try to wheel back to the bench. Victor Arvidsson, 18th goal of the season. You love to see that. The man's heating up. And yeah, I'm in all alone. Nobody there. Nice little backhand of forehand. Bruce it over Bennington. Gives him a little kiss on the way out. We got a 1-1 hockey game, so... That may be the first goal in the second period in a long time. In a long time. Hope it's our regains that puck. Now we're putting some pressure on them. Maybe the coach said something not so nice to these guys to wake them up. Yeah, Kopitar's had a good season. I mean, I've t uh, we, we talk, seem to talk about this line all the time. I ain't mad about it. If this line stays healthy, it, I, I have no complaints really with this line. It's been by far our best. Good block there, finally. I mean, they, they do do a couple stupid deeks once in a while, but everybody in this game does. Jesus. <laughs> EA, you gotta to, you gotta you gotta patch this. You gotta patch this. That's that's never breaking the ice. First of all, his shoulder hits the boards, not not that not the glass. And it's such a soft, like he just gets rubbed out along the boards. That's that, that, I, I promise you that would never break the glass. And even if it did, it wouldn't have a hole where his head impact. Like it's so silly. It's such a cool feature that they just brutally like. It's almost like they rushed to get it in. They maybe they did. It is a new team. I gotta cut this team a little bit of slack. I know a lot of people won't, but it is a brand new team helming this NHL franchise. I hope good things. We'll see. They say they're gonna start listening to the community, so you never know. All right, that's a good save. Tried going short side on us. Just hold that post. I'm a, I'm a fan of, of St. Louis. Their, their jerseys are nice. This is a blue and yellow team that I think should stay blue and yellow, obviously for history's sake but it, they do it right i love the dark blue shoulders i love the white and blue lines the logo is so simple it's like never changed but it's good other than color wise it's changed a little bit but like let let blue and yellow teams stay blue and yellow teams let buffalo like let's have buffalo go back to their red black and white let me know in the comments do you guys do you like the that jersey i mean like i said the the new buffalo jersey's nice i'm glad they went back to the old school logo but like, Tampa and the Leafs basically have the same uniform, and that drives me bonkers. Yeah, just a lot of, a lot of blue colors out there. That's why when, like, Seattle came in, I was worried they were going to do, like, a blue. But they went with the, like, teal, and it's a I, I think for their first jersey, it's a really nice jersey. Kapanen fires wide. Saad back to, uh, to... Is it Colin? Something just... Is that not another comedian from SNL? Colin Jost? What's this Jost name? Kapanen. That's a name I have not heard in a while. Great save there. Saw that one building up. Just made sure that we got down in time. Fiala able to skate that one out cleanly. That, that's, yeah, that's where you can read the play. And as long as you get over in time... What a pass by Kevin Fiala. The man is on a mission, I'm telling you. This is line of fun to watch. This line is fun to watch. Let's go, baby. Anze Kotar, 21st of the season. By just a beautifully placed pass, and I accidentally skipped it again. I'm so bad at that. There's so many goals that I'm just like, I want to get through the celebration so I can watch the replay, and I click it one too many times, and it's like, damn. Great play, though. Kevin Fiala, all the way deep, throws it in front. We've, uh, again, something I can't say I've seen too often. We got two second period goals. Five on five, I might add, as Arvidsson now wants to get in on the one-timer uh, trend. Gets a nice shot. Good save. Looks like a broken block stick there. 
I mean, our stats aren't really changing. We've just had too many goals against in the last few games. It's like, we got to win four goals against. A loss, seven goals against. One of these days, things will start turning where we have multiple good games in a row. For now, I'm happy that we're getting starts every other game. We're getting far in this season. I mean, I, I would I would think we're going to get about maybe 10 more games unless we take over the starting position, which I just can't see happening. Jordan Cairo looking for the beautiful shot there. Just was able to maintain that club save. 10-10. Oh, no, it's 10 St. Louis shots. So they really haven't had that many. Like I said, it's been quiet for them. They've just had the one scoring opportunity, and it went in. All LA here in the second period, which <laughs> I'm so happy. Now, the real test is can we continue it for the third period, or are we going to fall asleep? Tori Krug. Okay, we're... I'm not going to say it, because I know I'll jinx it. But they continuously do it. They're aggressive at the blue line. Nice little flip shot there. Not that much of a dangerous scoring opportunity, but we'll corral that puck, get a whistle. <sighs> Drew Doughty leading the league in hits. I mean, it is cool to see that our team is still throwing the body around. Kopitar and Dubois also on that list. Tory Crew walks in. And partial AI cheese. And the reason I say that is it bounces off our defender, and instead of going somewhere where it should be safe, it bounces perfectly back to his stick, and he's able to roof that. Partial. It's not not as annoying. But yeah, right off the in, so inside of the skate, right back to him. Like you can't make this up. It's been an EA thing for literally ever. For literally ever. A perfectly placed rebound onto the stick he's behind everybody and he just roofs it because i'm out of position unbelievable it's it's always the case but like i said there's no point getting upset about it it's been like that for years it's just funny to point out that any time any time it's a shot that bounces off our one of the players it always just lands perfectly flat on his stick that's going into the corner <laughs> oh well it is what it is it is what it is. We got two minutes left on the clock here in the second. 2-2 hockey game. They've capitalized. Hey, I mean, end of the day, they scored a goal. Fiala now. Ooh, Dubois with a really hard shot from low. Basically near the goal line. Bottom of the dot. Bottom of the circle, rather. We got the big boys there. Let's see if we can't... Uh, Louie? Was that the mascot? Is that St. Louis's mascot? It makes sense. Louie the Bluey. This, this St. Louis team looks awful, though. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I have not followed St. Louis basically since they won the cup. But, like, this team looks awful. <laughs> They have no, like Kapanen, is that a top, Ka Kapanen, is this, I don't know if this, again, there's been so many moves in this game, I can't even tell whose roster is, is the correct roster, but like, Kapanen, Sod, and who else was on that line, was that their, okay, so we got Jordan Kairou, who else was on this, I can't tell who these players are, oh, Bucinavich, I think is on that top line. It's not the greatest looking line. <laughs> oh, Arvidsson! Oh, this man is is on fire. He can't be stopped. Just comes out in front and roofs it. Let's go, baby. Third line heroics, or third period heroics. Second goal, 19th of the season. Muscles out. The big defender there and just beats him before getting hammered to the ice. Yes, let's go. I don't know what Tori Krug is doing, but... That's not his man, theoretically. 3-2 hockey game early. Victor Arvidsson now two goals off from Anze Kopitar. Tied with Pierre-Luc Dubois. Let's go, baby. Unassisted effort there by the young man. Thank you for helping me get one back after that stupid goal. Oh, it is. It's Braden Shen is also on that top line. Yeah, they suck. 
Their, their team is just not it anymore. Did that puck just get tipped in? Here I am trash talking them and they're making goals look easy. Ay caramba. I think he just tipped that in. He did. What a freaking tip, man. Yep, just fluffs it past my glove. How are they making this work? It's not fair. Oh man, these goals are ridiculous that are beating me. I can't have a game without three goals at least. Can you can you guys I'm sorry. I'm a failure. I'm a, I'm literally just not I'm not getting lucky. A lot of BS goals, but at the end of the day, I I need to get games pieced together where I'm having very little goals against and I'm just not. Is, are these the goals that are going to go in against me on All-Star? Just muscles off Arvidsson and wrists it in? Oh, Michael Webb, that glove is horrible. We got to work on that, brother. We have to work on that glove. That is abysmal. That's just a bad goal, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, I suck. My character sucks. I don't suck. That is so painful. In position, yeah, he strips the puck from Arvidsson, but, like, let's be honest here. That's a fluffy wrist shot that just beats me, like, not even cleanly. I should have easily had that puck, and it bounced off my glove and in. Woof. Woof. We got some work to do here. We have some work to do here in the coming weeks in the season. Because some, something's on, some, some none, some ain't right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. These are brutal goals. Mm. That Buchnevich tip was pretty, pretty sexy. I mean, he just very clearly fluffed it over my glove. But that, that wrist shot there, that's not even a good shot by Braden Shen. I'm a fan of Braden Shen. I, uh, is he actually the captain of the Blues? If he is, congrats to him. Didn't know that. That's a, that's a bad goal. Oh, our save percentage is below 8.5 again. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, you are getting a pretty rough goaltending experience here lately. But that is why I wanted to change it to All-Star. Again, you guys might be thinking, why? Because I would rather be tested by to know where I'm at than play on a lower difficulty and get fabricated results. I think with what I know about NHL games, playing on a lower difficulty for me doesn't make sense. Even if we start getting bodied with goals. I should have skated the bench. Didn't know we had a delayed call. All right, here's an opportunity. I'm sorry, team. Wait, what? I Okay, the good thing I didn't skate to the bench. We got that penalty? What, what was it for? First power play of the night. I thought we were going to escape a game without getting a penalty. And halfway through, we now have to kill Ghosty Bears on Detroit. So you already know this is a, uh, this is a weird lineup for for the blues all right that's some good that's some good penalty killing first opportunity on the power play nothing too lethal coming out of this lineup but i mean anybody score everybody and everybody anybody and everybody oh we got a power play or a penalty gavrikov skates in get to the bench you slow bastard what i was saying is anybody and everybody is scoring so i can't really i can't rule out any team even if they don't have Goal scoring studs. Uh oh. That's. Saw that happening. Get back. Nice effort. Good effort, Doughty. Made a mistake. Gets back. Kevin Fiala trying to do a little dipsy doodle. Loses the puck right back to. It's going to say Luke Shen. It's his younger brother, Braden. Big hit on the young man. Oh my god. Please don't clear it in front of my net. That's the only thing I ask. If you're gonna play with the puck, just do it. Do it not right back in front, where I'm very vulnerable. Twenty-second power play probably won't get much, although Arvidsson catches that one. Right back to Kaliev. Not the greatest shot on him. 
Man, dude. I want so badly to have like a two goals or less game. That's like my goal right now. And it always just feels, seems like I just fall apart. Ooh. But realistically, if I'm looking at the goals, I still think two of those were bull. Yes, so it is what it is. Gotta understand that goals like that will go in and then for goals like that Braden Shen shot, that's when you need to be able to stop it. Well, that was a good penalty kill into a really lazy 30 second power play, but we got some interesting players on the ice now. Lazat, Kaliev. Not really a not really any line. Dano out here. Arvidsson back on the ice now. Back to Arvidsson. Looking to make a difference. Ooh, good play there by Jake. Um or what's his name? What's Bennington's first name? Something Bennington. Jordan. That's what it is. <laughs> it's like it starts with a J. But we, what have I said this whole playthrough? You're gonna get the good, the bad, and the ugly. I wouldn't say this is necessarily ugly. It's just kind of bad. We gotta find a way to win some hockey games. Come on, boys. 5:28 left. Somehow find a way to tie this would be. I will actually buy you guys dinner tonight. We'll have a look at, um, I gotta have a look at my perks too, because we probably are getting some money now. There is like the, uh, there's like you can buy things in the game, like apartments, cars. It's kind of weird, but it does offer you stats. And I haven't really put anything in since like the first week. <laughs> so maybe we should have a peek at that and see if we can get some like low glove save and low blocker save stats. Because that's my biggest struggle right now. Positioning's not too bad. I've been out of position on a number of goals, but for the most part, I'm happy with, with how I'm positioning myself. It's now trying to get in the way, trying to get saves when you're in position. That's the struggle. All right, here we go. Kaliev back to Dubois. Tries to make the play to Kempe. Inenting all over that one again. Come on, boys. I like the I like the effort after letting up a goal like that, though. They haven't really eased off too much. Trying to make some decent plays. Oh my gosh, it almost happened again. That was almost very clearly AI cheese, and I was going to laugh. Shoots the puck, bounces off our player right perfectly to his stick. He just, he missed the net. If he didn't miss the net there, oh baby. And I mean, that pretty much, unfortunately, from the captain, a slashing call within the last two minutes is pretty much going to seal the deal here, unless we somehow have some shorthanded heroics. But the blame of this one, we will gladly take on our shoulders. Wear it proudly, not proudly, but wear it knowing it's our fault for the most part. Let's just see if we can't at least hold on and keep the puck out of the back of the net here. Great save on Jordan Cairo. Rob Thomas out in front, a rebound. <sighs> Try not to make this one get ugly. Try not to, and time on attack is pretty much even. Like I said, the boys had a pretty solid game. And this is, this is what I mean. Like, this is where three goals, especially scoring in multiple periods. Doesn't even matter, does it? Doesn't even matter, does it? So far out of position. My guy goes for a blocker save. Blockers save on a glove side shot. And now we need to put points in a vision. Oh, this is this is gross. This is gross. I need to redeem myself in the next video. This is just this has nothing to do with being on all-star. This has everything to do with just gross. Alright. One last goal, maybe. Play for pride. Oh, just misses the net. 15 seconds left. I'm really surprised I'm not getting yanked. What in the God's name was that shot? 
Yeah, got to give it to St. Louis. I mean, they found ways to bury the puck. I did not find ways to stop the puck. And we will leave a road game against St. Louis bloodied and battered. And that's just two bad games. That's really three bad games, guys. Dallas, Bus Buffalo, and now St. Louis. Those are games, maybe not the Dallas. But I got to think that Buffalo and St. Louis are games that we can go into and win. Ugh. You are uh, you're seeing a very struggling goaltending duo. Thankfully, we got some skill points. No idea how the hell we leveled up after that one. But I, I got to think stick work is fine. Poise recover. Man, I got to think we got to put points. Vision's still high, like highest rated. I think we got to keep putting points in the, into this glove save, man. It's going to cost two points, but I think we got to do it. Oh, it's only one point? Okay, we're going to do both then. We are going to try and keep our reflexes as clean as possible because... It's not looking it's not looking great. We got some training time available. What are we gonna put training time into? Don't care about breakaway, glove training, I mean hell. Yeah. Honestly, that and that might be the two. Ooh, rebound instead of movement. I can't do four hours, screen, sprint, stick, nah. I think we need to do glove training and I think we need to do movement training. I think those are the best things we possibly can do. Um, because right now those are my weaknesses. We've, we've talked about it so often, man. And just at the end of this video, let's, uh, what do we got? Should we buy a car? Don't really have enough for a property. What do we got here? Watches? No, I don't care about things. So we do have the meal plan. That was the first thing we, we bought. Durability, endurance, no. Media training? Eh finances recover and rebound control stock broker a lot of these are are <laughs> a lot of these are pretty expensive we're still a we're still a shopping spree hell no wait how does a shopping spree improve my glove hand <laughs> euro tour legendary maybe we buy a vehicle here what do we got speed recovery endurance speed is a problem Ooh. We can buy a classic car and get glove high, glove low, and vision. Sports car. This will eat up all of our money if we buy a sports car. Maybe I just buy a classic car. Glove high, glove low, vision. I kind of like that. It's a stupid purchase, if I'm being completely honest with you. But we'll take all those points we can get. That's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. We will find out when we're playing here again. Our record's taken a tumble, and I'm not a fan of that. But we're into February hockey now. Got the win against Nashville. I doubt we'll get the start against Edmonton. Oh, here we go. What's the young man going to tell us? That we're struggling? We know. We need to talk. We're halfway through the season. You haven't been playing good enough. I want to win most of all, coach. My own stats may get sacrificed for that. Yeah, tell him what it is. I'm going to step it up. What was my promise there? I, I don't know what my promise just was we'll find out in just a sec allow a max of six goals over the next three games hey i just said we need to do that i like that challenge from the coach we need to play better we need to allow less goals i don't even care necessarily about the wins i know that sounds stupid after i just said to the coach it's the opposite but for me personally and he's playing me against edmonton well busy night in the national hockey yeah we'll find out if we can succeed on that anyway that was a messy game guys i apologize for the last few we'll, we'll try and turn this around thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe to the video leave me a comment we'll, we'll try and turn this one around but until the next video guys thank you so much for watching thank you for all the love and support like we've talked about and we'll catch you in the next one guys bye